In this tutorial, we will understand how to set up real-time rates and label printing using X Adapters WooCommerce USPS shipping plugin with print label. Once the plugin is installed and activated, click on settings option to get started. The plugin settings are divided into six tabs. The general tab contains the common API settings. In the second tab, you can configure USPS real-time rates and services settings. The third set of settings is where you select desired parcel packaging method. In the fourth tab, you can configure label generation. The fifth tab contains shipment tracking API settings. In the last section, you can enter your plugin API key and your registered email address to activate our USPS shipping plugin. Click on General tab to get started with the configuration process. The very first setting is to enable the real-time rates. Once enabled, you will be able to access USPS real-time rates on your WooCommerce store. Next, under the common API settings, enter your USPS user ID in the given field. If you do not have an user ID, sign up for an USPS account and obtain the credential. In the next setting, enter your origin postcode. This postcode is of the location from where you will be sending your shipments, and will be used for calculating shipping rates. Next checkbox is to enable the debug mode. If you are not getting rates or are running into trouble with the plugin, you can enable the setting, and check the request and response information on your WooCommerce cart and checkout pages. In the next setting, you can enable the test mode to try out the plugin settings. You can check the working of real-time rates, label printing process and so on. Once you are satisfied with the settings, disable this setting for processing real order transactions. If you are opting for media mail service, select appropriate shipping classes for the same. If you want to know what media mail service is, refer this section in USPS website. The link for which is given in the video description. Lastly, click save changes to save the settings. Moving to rates and services settings. The first setting allows you to set a custom shipping method title for USPS shipping, and also allows you to choose where you want to offer USPS shipping services. You can select all countries, or choose specific countries from the given list. The show rate setting allows you to choose when the real-time rates should be displayed for the customer. You can choose to show rates whenever they are available, or choose to display only when customers enter their destination postal code on the cart page. In the next setting, you can choose the type of shipping rates you want to offer. You can use click and ship rates, where shipping rates are same as what you get while printing postage online. Whereas, the offline rates are normal post office rates. An important point to remember is that the click and ship rates are discounted rates and are much cheaper than offline rates. You can understand more about the USPS online rates here. The link is provided in the video description. Let's move to next section containing rates API settings. Tick the standard API services checkbox to enable standard services provided by USPS. This setting enables non-flat rate services. In the next setting, you can choose the types of rates you would prefer. You can select retail rates, or select commercial rates which are basically used for bulk shipments. If the commercial rates are not available for any shipping service, the API automatically shows the retail rates to the customers. The next setting is the fallback rate. Enter an amount value in the given text field. If USPS fails to return any shipping rates, this fallback rate will be applied. This will help customers to complete their checkout process successfully, even when USPS does not return any rates. Moving to next set of settings to configure USPS flat rates. The first setting allows you to use USPS flat rate service shipping. This flat rate charges a single fixed rate for a service, regardless of any destination within the country. You can choose to enable the flat service, disable it, enable only priority flat rate service, or enable express flat rate service. Next, you can choose desired flat rate boxes from the selection list. In the next settings, you can define a custom text for express and priority flat rate services. 
The flat rate fee setting allows you set an additional fee on flat shipping rate. If you enter a negative amount value, then that entered amount gets subtracted from flat shipping rate. In the next setting, you can choose to offer all returned rates to the customer, or the cheapest rate from the returned rates. Coming to the services table. This table consists of all the USPS services that are supported by our WooCommerce USPS shipping plugin. The table consists of four columns for configuration. The first column allows you to set a custom name for the shipping method. The second column lists all the services. You can enable or disable services as you wish. The third and fourth column allows you to set price adjustments in terms of amount or percentage value. Choose desired services, and save the settings. Let us now configure parcel packaging settings. Our WooCommerce USPS shipping plugin provides four parcel packaging methods. The first method allows you to pack items individually. The second allows you to pack into boxes with weights and dimensions. Once this option is selected, you are required to configure boxes in the box dimensions table. Enter desired box name, configure outer and inner dimensions and enter weight value. Additionally, you can tick the respective letter checkbox if you want to mail letters. In the third method, items with maximum 12 inches in whole dimensions are grouped together for packaging. Total weight of these grouped items is passed to USPS API to get real-time rates. The last parcel packing method is the total weight based method. In this method, you need to set maximum weight limit of the package. In addition to this, you need to select how the items have to be packed. You can pack heavier items first, pack lighter items first, or pack purely divided by weight. Choose your desired packing method, and move to next setting. There are chances that an item may not fit in available boxes, and may remain unpacked. In such cases, our plugin provides some very useful options. For unpacked items, you can either get a quote of the unpacked item individually, ignore the item, use the fallback price that have set in rates and services settings. The last option aborts the packing process, and does not return any quotes. Select you desired choice, and save the changes. Moving to label generation settings. The very first setting is to enable the shipping label generation. Remember, even though you are able to access real-time rates, you can generate labels only when the setting is enabled. Next, our plugin supports 6 print label service. You can select desired service of your own. The print label size setting, as the name suggests, allows you to select size for printing the shipping labels. You can select the default size, which is 8 by 11 inches, or the compact size of 4 by 6 inches, which are generally used for international shipping. Likewise, select the type of label from the available options. Next, enter sender details like sender name, company name, address, email and contact number. Click on save changes button to save the settings. The final set of settings is related to shipment tracking. In the first setting, you can either choose to disable shipment tracking for customers, enable for both store owner and customers, or disable for both of them. Next, when the shipment tracking ID is generated, you can choose to populate the tracking ID automatically in the USPS shipment tracking meta box in the order admin page, or choose to enter it manually. The last setting allows you to define a custom shipment tracking message. This message will be showed to the store owners when the shipment is created. You can leave this text field empty to use the default message. Finally, click save changes. Now that we have configured all the settings, let us move to the front end of our WooCommerce store. Once a product is added to the cart, our WooCommerce USPS shipping plugin fetches real-time rates and displays them in this way. Here's how USPS domestic services and rates are displayed. You can also notice the flat rate service which we had configured in the USPS flat rates boxes settings. When a customer changes the address to an international address, the plugin fetches the USPS international services and rates in this way. 
In this way, you can offer USPS real-time rates on your WooCommerce store. Once your customers have placed their order, move to WooCommerce admin order page to generate shipping labels. First, select an order for which you want to generate a label. Move to the USPS shipping label EVS meta box. Click generate packages to generate the packages. Next, the plugin allows you to update the shipping service. Choose appropriate settings, and click create shipment label to proceed further. An important point to remember here is that, USPS automatically validates the customer shipping address, as well as the sender address which you have specified in our USPS plugin settings. If any of the addresses is invalid, USPS does not create any shipment or generate labels. Even though if you can make sure the sender address is validated from your end, it is hard to validate customer address at the checkout. Hence in such scenarios you can make use of an address validation plugin like our address validation and Google address autocomplete plugin for WooCommerce. Once the address validation is done, and the shipment is created, you can notice the shipment tracking ID generated. You can click on the tracking ID to track the shipment in USPS website. Finally, click on print label to print the shipping label. The label will be downloaded as a PDF on your computer. Here's a sample of USPS label. In the same way, you can generate international labels as well. The international shipping document consists of shipping label, customs declaration, and dispatch label. In this way, you can generate USPS shipping labels with our WooCommerce USPS shipping plugin with print label. To know more features of the plugin, refer the product page. And for any queries, feel free to get in touch with us. We will be happy to help you out.